Hello. I am literally falling asleep. It is so early in the morning. <laughs> Help. Okay. Anyway, last week I finished up my first Axolotl custom, which was the pink one, like the white albino, I think it's called. This custom received so much love and attention. I definitely want to capitalize and continue down the line and make more axolotls. <laughs> I mean, I do love these guys, so anyway. I didn't hear them from Minecraft, by the way. I feel special. I don't play Minecraft. Now beginning my new project, it is time to do a little more research into the morphs of axolotls. See, I thought that axolotls only came in a few colors, including the white albino, the wild type, and the golden albino. I mainly know what I do know about axolotls because I went and researched them a few years ago when I was interested in getting one, but uh, I ended up not getting an axolotl, so I haven't really looked into them since. <laughs> so sorry, so my information was kind of weird last time. See, I thought like there were only a few colors of axolotls, like the white albino, the wild type, and the golden albino. However, it turns out that there are many other color variations, which is very exciting. <laughs> I do hope to complete all the color variations one day. That would be very cool. However, to keep things a little simpler, I narrowed down to four choices. The golden albino, the wild type, the chimera, and the mosaic. I just picked these based on you know, which ones I was kind of interested in doing first, since there's a lot of different colors and species. Well, not species, you know, just, yeah, okay. <laughs> and as a little twist, I asked you guys to vote on which should be my next project, and the Jamera won the tally. <laughs> so I've talked enough, let's get started on our little fluffy guild fish bean. To begin. I needed another iguana base. A lot of times I already have unique base forms for customizing, considering the bulk of my base collection comes from large lots off eBay. But since the iguana base is a little less generic than your average guinea pig or bunny, I had to purchase one individually. I order almost all of my bases off eBay or purchase them directly from you guys. So I ended up purchasing the blind bag iguana 2781 with these rather terrifying eyes. I can't have those looking into my soul for the entire sculpting process, so let's just remove the factory paint with some acetone. <laughs> and now the base is prepped and ready for me to sculpt the axolotl gills and tail. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting while I'm making this to talk a little bit about axolotls because I did some research and since I'm a nerd, I really thought what I found was interesting. So let's talk about axolotls. All right, so axolotls are different from other amphibians due to their life cycle or their lack of life cycle, I guess. Axolotls are thought of as never fully grown because they're actually paused in the juvenile life cycle most amphibians go through. This makes more sense if you look at the larval tiger salamander, which is the species that inspired Toothless from DreamWorks' How to Train Your Dragon. They look almost exactly like an axolotl, the only difference being this stage is only temporary for the salamanders. Eventually, they cycle into their mature form, leaving the water as adults. Axolotls are different, however, because they spend their entire lives underwater. They have evolved an adaptation that prevents them from metamorphosizing into their adult form, this makes them permanently juveniles, so the fills on the sides of their faces are not actually fins, they are gills. So there is a small misconception that axolotls can live out of water. Very not true. They do have tiny lungs that allow them to breathe air on occasion, and in case of some emergency, they have been known to be able to survive out of water for a little while, but ultimately it is unnatural and should be avoided. Okay, so I like to use the iguana bases for my axolotl customs because of their facial structure. Axolotls, disassociated with Minecraft, are most known and loved for their little adorable smiles. And of course, for the pink skin showcased on the white albino. Iguana bases just happen to have very similar smile on their molds. It's too perfect. <laughs> the only bits I'm adding to the axolotl are its frilly gills, flaps for its tail, and a little bit of texture around its body. And here is the axolotl all sculpted. It's a pretty simple sculpt. No armatures or extreme extensions needed. I found that my particular clay is durable enough to not need this extra support. And now it is time for painting. More fun part. <laughs> so now that we're painting, I thought it'd be more fun to talk a little bit more about Chimera axolotls because that is the morph that we are doing. So Chimera axolotls are very unique in the fact that their color split halfway down the middle. In the case of this one, it's the wild type and the white albino. 
So I researched on everythingreptiles.com and it said, Chimera axolotls only occur when two developing eggs fuse together into one. Most do not hatch because two eggs did not fuse completely. Because chimeras are a developmental accident, they are considered so rare that there is a debate on whether or not they should be classified as a true morph. To my best knowledge, it seems like the only type of chimera axolotl to hatch before has been a fusion between a white albino and a wild type. I can't even imagine how much these critters sell for on the market. They have to be worth thousands and thousands of dollars from a breeder, so don't get your hopes up too high if you were wanting one of these guys as a pet. And speaking of which, I do feel obligated to explain. Disclaim. Not ex- well, explain and disclaim. Please do not go out and purchase an axolotl because of this video. I have been a part of the aquascaping and reptile community for a while out of genuine interest and have found over the years that fish and amphibians are one of the most neglected of pets. People come into pet stores purchasing these small animals and don't realize how much care is involved with them. Axolotls in particular need a lot more attention and investment than your average goldfish, so make sure you are doing proper research before purchasing any animal. The last thing I want to do is to initiate you to buy an animal out of impulse. Anyway, we have some more time while I'm painting, so I thought I could share with you this absurd story about my first axolotl custom and why I now consider it cursed. Don't let its adorable face fool you, it's cursed. So just like any of my other customs, after I finished the white albino axolotl, I was prepared to put it on sale on my eBay shop. However, the reception for the axolotl custom was insane. I got over 11k likes on Instagram for the post alone, which is a new record for me. Not to mention the YouTube video blowing up shortly after. I can clearly tell you guys all love axolotls as much as me, or maybe you guys just all like Minecraft and I'm being fooled. So I didn't really know what to price it. It was at a pretty high demand, and I knew it would sell very quickly. So I just threw it on $89 auction and called it a day. Later that night, I checked back on the auction, and my jaw dropped to the floor. Holy moly, $250 with four days left to go. <laughs> like, I know he's cute, but like... Ah, as the days progressed, the axolotl slowly rose in bid till it reached $600. <laughs> I was basically having a seizure at this point until one person contacted me and canceled all their bids. Now, I don't know how bids on eBay work, but one person canceled and it was like all the bids canceled because you need two people to bid up an auction. I don't even know. The price dropped back to $120. At this point, I just sat back and accepted fate. Sometimes things are too good to be true. I mean, $120 is, again, that's amazing too. Like, I totally am thankful for that. Don't think I'm not. <laughs> it was just like crazy. It was like, I didn't even know what to think. Anyway, um, on the last day, all of a sudden, bids went crazy again and it sold for $650. $650. Somehow, I don't know, someone else came along and bid it up again. Look guys, I know he's cute, but he ain't that cute. <laughs> not, not that I'm not grateful or anything. In fact, I'm ecstatic. $650, I can afford my new camera, boom boom. But uh, little did I know I was in for a wild ride. You see, when you bid on something online, you commit to purchase it which basically means you don't actually need to enter and pay money before you win the auction. Once you win the bid, then you can go back for the post and pay for it. However, the person who won just wouldn't pay for it. I mean, here I thought I just sold the most expensive LPS custom ever made, but they just had to crush my dreams. <laughs> the person unfortunately would not respond to my eBay messages. I was like, hey, you said you would buy this and uh, you won the auction, so can you, I don't know, pay for it? <laughs> I don't even, I shouldn't even have to say that. Like, why would you bid on something if you're not gonna pay for it? Anyway, after a while, I was fed up. I was just like, hello, Mother Studio's here. Pay for what you owe me, peasant. But uh, the person just wouldn't respond. I don't know, maybe I wasn't intimidating enough. After four days of waiting per eBay policy, they violated the terms and I was able to cancel. Kind of annoying. There were a lot of people interested in the axolotl, but now since the person just wasted four days, they probably weren't as interested. So I listed him again on auction and it sold a few days later for 250. Okay, it's nothing like it was before, but I mean, I'm totally grateful for that price. I didn't really want to dwell on the losses. However, after the second day, the new buyer, guess what? 
wouldn't pay. How is this happening to me again? Some voodoo witchcraft is possessing my buyers to want the axolotl, but apparently not enough to actually purchase it. Like I've never had such trouble trying to get someone to buy my customs before. What is this sorcery? <laughs> Luckily, an angel from heaven littlest pet shop stop on Instagram came forth and saved me from the burning building of despair and offered me $200 to buy the axolotl up front. Sold, finally. I'm convinced it is cursed and I want it out of my house this instant. Feel free to lend him to your enemies and have bad luck. So this is my crazy axolotl story. It better not happen with this new one or I will self implode. Oh looky, we're done painting. So here is the completed Chimera axolotl custom. It is official now. I will make an axolotl army. One by one by one by one. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see the future generations of my army. I hope you learned something interesting about axolotls today. Comment below the more I should do for my next project and keep an eye out on the community post for more polls. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I kind of hope to complete all the color variation. Yeah. I kind of hope to complete all the This makes more sense if you look at the at a larval tigel tigel. I found that my I found that all right, so axolotls. Yeah, axolotls. Axol. Why is that so hard to say? <laughs> axolotls. Yeah. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> it's too early.